Oh, hi. You want to learn some more about AVB networking? Yes! Yeah! Well, all right then. Audio networking has come a long way in the last several years. It's gone from proprietary point-to-point -point systems to fully open network ecosystems. There's been a lot of buzz about this technology over the last several years, so we thought we'd take a moment and explain a little bit more about the AVB technology used in the Personas ecosystems. Now, networking can be a very complex thing, but understanding how it benefits you doesn't have to be. I know a little bit about AVB networking, but we actually have somebody here today who knows even more. Let's go introduce ourselves. I'd like to introduce you to one of our AVB brainiacs, Michael Cole. Say hello to our guest, Mike. Oh, hi, Ray. Hi, Mike. So, tell us, Mike, why AVB? Well, have you ever used Wi-Fi? <laughs> well, of course, everybody's used Wi-Fi. But have you used Home RF? Huh? What? Yeah, Home RF. You know, the competing standard to Wi-Fi back from the late 90s and early 2000s? No. So, why have you not heard of Home RF? Let's think about this. So, back in the late 90s and early 2000s, Home RF was actually doing better than Wi-Fi. But the problem was there was only one manufacturer of Home RF hardware. They were called Proxim Wireless. Okay. Now, Proxim Wireless decided to stop making Home RF hardware. Well, okay, but why would they stop making the hardware chips? Well, there was an economic recession and they pivoted. So, Home RF died. Wow, okay. So, the Wi-Fi that we know today was starting to gain traction, but where did Wi-Fi come from? Good question, Ray. Wi-Fi was invented by a group called the IEEE. Oh, I've heard of the IEEE. They are a very popular organization that has across over 160 countries. That's right. They have over 423,000 engineers in their group. Wow. Yes. Their slogan is, advancing technology for all of humanity. Whoa. Think about that. All of humanity, not just pro audio. That's cool and all, Mike, but can we get back to this AVB thing now? Sure, I had a point. So what else did IEEE come up with? What? They came up with, you guessed it, AVB. No way! AVB! That's cool! So AVB, it's a collection of open networking standards created by the IEEE. All right. That allow us to transport many channels of audio over ethernet in a way that's reliable and it doesn't require you to have any special IT knowledge. All right, so the IEEE came up with these awesome, robust standards that we use in our audio networking for the Studio Live Series 3. But how can we make sure that other manufacturers all interpret the standards the same way so that our products can work with other products on the same audio network? Presonus is a member of an organization called Avnu. Now, Avnu is responsible for exactly what you said, making sure that all the manufacturers build their products in a way that interpret the IEEE standards the same way. The way they accomplish this is through a rigorous certification process. So in order to become Avenu certified, you have to send your device up to a testing lab in New Hampshire, and they run a series of tests to make sure you're interoperable and that all of the AVB protocols are working correctly. Yeah, so I attend Avenu meetings weekly, uh, but Avenu is more than just pro audio, right? That's right. In fact, AVB is so robust that other industries have adopted AVB, such as the automotive industry, industrial manufacturing. We've got precision robotics using AVB. But ProAV has a special group that's dedicated to making sure that audio products work together, and it's called Milan. Awesome. So the ProAV group in Avenue has got this technology and this, this initiative called Milan. All right, so what is, what is Milan? What does Milan do? So Milan is made up of many industry leaders, such as Presonus. We've got L Acoustics. These guys practically pioneered the modern line array. Um, we've got Adamson. We've got Neutrik. We're all coming together on an almost daily basis and 
discussing our customers' needs and our needs as a manufacturer to make sure we build the best audio network system possible. Hell Acoustics, Meyer Sound, DMB, Cisco, Personas, all Milan, but are there Milan products out there now? I mean, what? I don't see a whole lot of stuff. How is this working? Well, it's still early days, but there will soon be a proliferation of AVB devices. Neutrik recently announced on February 12th that they're releasing a Milan certified hardware module. What this means is manufacturers can now buy this module, put it into their device without having to do any hardware design, and now they have a Milan certified AVB device. All right, so AVB, Milan, you know, Avenue, we're all working together on this with these, these great brands for the future, but what, who's using AVB today? Lots of important people are using AVB today. For instance, Metallica using AVB. Yeah. BMW is using AVB in their infotainment system. Cool. AVB is built into Mac OS. You can control and record audio natively over AVB in Mac OS. That's awesome. And you know who else is using AVB? What's that? Waves is using AVB now. That's right. Waves just recently introduced the Waves BR1 AVB to Sound Grid Bridge. This allows you to connect up any of your Studio Live Series 3 ecosystem products using this bridge over AVB to then connect to the Waves Sound Grid system. It's awesome. And that's just another partner that we've worked with to get AVB and audio networking out to the public. So if I want to use the uh, Abbey Rhodes plugins on my Studio Live mixer, I can now? That's right. Just use the Waves BR1 Sound Grid AVB bridge, and you can connect up your Studio Live Series 3 mixer to a Sound Grid server on the Sound Grid network. Yeah! All right, so some, some pretty cool things happening with AVB today, right? So. Now we've got this Milan thing that's being worked on with the Pro Audio companies and Avenue. Um, what, what are the benefits of Milan? I mean, AVB, okay, we've got the IEEE standards, so it's robust, we've got that stuff, so what's the benefit of, of this Milan certification? Well, there are a lot of benefits, actually. But first of all, AVB is reliable. It's the only set of audio networking protocols that guarantees at a very low level that your data is gonna arrive on time and it's not going to be disrupted no matter what else is on your network. Second benefit is that it's open. It's an open set of standards. In other words, it's not controlled by any one company. If we have a need or our customers have a need and we need to make a change, we can discuss it with other companies. We can make the change and it's not locked into any one company's hardware or their software. So that's great. Um, another thing, about it being open is there are no licensing fees. So if you want to use AVB on your Mac, you don't have to buy anything uh, extra. Uh, for us as a manufacturer, we don't have to pay any licensing fees to use AVB. And so that lowers the cost for the customer. That's great. Awesome. So a third benefit is that AVB is future proof. Um, as I mentioned before, if we need to change the standard, we can. Mm -hmm. A great example is recently in Avenue, we published a white paper on wireless AVB. Whoa, so, wireless? So this is in the future, of course, but we're already discussing how we can change our implementations in Avenue so that we can support AVB wirelessly. That's Pretty incredible. Cool. So obviously that's not something that's happening next year. That's a ways out, but... Exactly. The idea of you know the possibilities of what we could do in the future because it's an open standard because all of these different manufacturers are working together. Exactly. Now, lastly, the biggest advantage for our customers with AVB is that you do not need to have IT expertise to use AVB, and that's huge, right? Yes. So, with AVB, you use AVB switches and AVB products, and so you don't need to go in and set up any of the settings of the switch and things like That's that. That's right. It, it's okay if you don't know what an IP address is. It's okay if you don't know how to configure QoS. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, these are things that you would have to do with some other audio networking protocols. Um, whereas with AVB, when you plug a device into the AVB network, its name appears on the network and you just route the streams how you want, um, and that's it. Yeah, so 
The switch is a smart part of the AVB system, exactly. and so it helps to manage all the AVB traffic to guarantee that you get that low latency arrival of your audio. And again, no configuration required because it's just part of the requirement. Exactly. That's awesome. Yep. Huge. All right, so pretty cool stuff, AVB. Um, obviously, the Personas ecosystem uses AVB for all the Series 3 stuff. We've got this Milan stuff that's sounding really cool, but the Personas isn't Milan certified right now though, right? Well, you're absolutely right about that. However, we're working on that. So I recently um, have been meeting almost daily with all of the engineers in Avenue in Milan. Um, so I recently went to a plug fest, for example, at UNH with all the guys from L Acoustics, Meyer Sound, from Avid, wow. from Adamson. We all met up in a room, we plugged our stuff in together, we made sure it's working correctly, and we are currently getting ready to get our certification stamps uh, for Avenue in Milan. Um, and so once that happens, you'll begin to see our products working and, and uh, interoperating with all these other manufacturers' um, equipment. That's really exciting. Yeah. Nice. So basically, all the smartest networking engineers from each of these companies got into a room together and geeked out. That's right. Uh, not only engineers, but you know, product specialists. And we even talk to customers about this. So you know, whenever a customer comes to us and says they have a need in their networking, we can elevate that up to all the other manufacturers, and if there's a common need in our industry, we can meet that need together. That's fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a better understanding of what AVB is, why we have AVB as the backbone of the Series 3 ecosystem, and a little bit of tease of what AVB is going to be doing in the future, not just for Personas products, but for the industry at large. So real exciting stuff. Mike, thank you for taking time out of your busy day. I know that you have a lot of work to do to continue furthering our efforts. So we really appreciate you coming and speaking with our guests today so that we can learn a little bit about what is in your massive brain regarding AVB. Thanks, Ray. Are you thirsty? Thank <laughs> you.